This video is sponsored by nobody. What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to On Feet. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit something different and going over some new releases from Adidas. They dropped a lot of different items and uh, shoes and just a bunch of different stuff. And I kind of wanted to go over with you all, but don't mind my voice. I am getting over this little bit of a cold. Um, other than that though, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hope you all do enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let's get it. So first things first, they're already getting ready for the holidays. Well, really not a holiday. This isn't a holiday at all. You can do this for your girl, your man's um, any time of the year. But this is a Valentine's Day hoodie or val yeah, Valentine's Day hoodie. It's $80. It looks pretty comfortable, um, kind of baggy. It's got that little comfort, comfort type of vibe, cuddle type of vibe thing going on. It goes all the way up to 2XL. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy this, but I do like the little Adidas. Um, thing kind of down here. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, and that's like the back of the hoodie It looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. They did do a good job Like I said, their cotton blend for a lot of their hoodies feel very good So they got the ultra boost 1.0 Miami's these actually look kind of fire My only problem with these is the white midsole I just don't really like when they have that white midsole. I prefer the black midsole It's just kind of annoying because it's it's a little bit harder to clean this um, if you zoom in a little bit here I said they look really nice. I like the colorway to this actually. I may pick up a pair. I don't know. They're 160 right now. They're usually $200. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of colors for this one. I get a little bit confused when it comes to the Ultra Boost lineup because there's Ultra Boost 22s, 23s, there's 2.0s. It gets confusing. And honestly, I really feel like sometimes they're just changing the colorway and a little bit of how much foam that you get. Uh, from each boost shoe. Like I said, they got a bunch of different colors. I'm not going to go over all of them because the video is going to be long as I'll get out. Now, as you see here, these are the Tiro 23 League pants. I actually like these. I might have to cop this. They're 50 bucks. I may wait to, I'll probably wait for them to get on sale, but I am going to kind of favorite it for me because I do think I'm going to get this in the future. So yeah. And let's see what other colors they have. I actually like the fit on this. Yeah, the lines, that's pretty dope. It kind of gives you like that running type of vibe or you see he's holding a football or a soccer ball. I didn't even know they had these. Yeah, I definitely might have to cop a couple pairs of these. It looks like I think I'm going to go with probably the blue and the black one. OK, so we got Ultra Boost 1.0s again. This is some Valentine's Day edition. It looks pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. It looks honestly like it's for women, um, but they do have it in size for men. I would not buy these. Honestly, the sole looks like a bunch of gum is on the shoe. I don't really like that. They could have did a way better job. The little hearts, I mean, you know, that's an okay touch, but the sole it just looks nasty to me. Now, this one right here, the Adelet 22s, they're back in stock, and they always go out of stock every time I look at the color. The color that I want, the black one, is never in stock. Like, I have to probably get the thing from Goda or some other web page. Because look, it does, it literally says they're not available right now. So they do have a new colorway of this one. I'm probably not going to get it. Um, I did end up getting another one. This is not the one that I was talking about that looks like the Yeezy ones. We'll talk about those in a second. A lot of people said these remind them of Yeezys, but I know for a fact from the reviews is that they're not as comfy as the Yeezy slides. I mean, Yeezy slides are probably one of the most comfortable shoes from what I've heard. I, I don't have a pair yet. I do plan on getting maybe the blue or black pair. It just depends. They also have another color right here, which is this like really bright red orange type of colorway here or really almost orange. I, I kind of like this one, but I think this one's a little more subtle. It's kind of like a gray undertone. I still don't know what exactly they're made out of, but I for some reason, I just like this design. It's kind of eye catching to me. I know some people don't like it, but I kind of like it. It always sells out too. Okay, next up we got our Forum CL Low Shoes. I've actually never heard of these, but it looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This colorway is not bad. I actually kind of dig it. I I just wish the color was actually black and white. I probably would just buy a black and white color of this shoe. Do they have it? No, they don't have a black and white. Man, that sucks. I don't mind this color. Um, for 110 that's a little bit expensive. But I really like some of the small details that they've done with this shoe. Like, look right here. That's really nice. Got an old Adidas logo. I like that. That's really nice. The sole looks cool. It does look like stuff is going to get stuck in the sole. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just really eye-catching to me. Like, I don't usually wear these type of low-top 
style shoes as far as these type like SB Dunks low. I'm not a fan of SB Dunk lows. I, I've never been a fan of them. I know a lot of people like them. I'm just not a fan of them. Alrighty, so next up we got the NMD R1 shoes. These are running 160, which is kind of wild. You know what this shoe reminds you of is the uh, Roshi Runs or Roshi Runs from a long time ago when Nike released those. It kind of has like the same silhouette in a sense. Uh, it's just using the boost foam. So it is probably pretty squishy. Uh, the little blocks that you see with like the Adidas logo, that's pretty nice. I think they're nice. To, it's a nice looking shoe. I don't know about 160, but they they seem to look pretty well. I mean, let me know what y'all think of them in the comment section below, but they look pretty comfy. 110 though, I mean, go snatch some Ultra Boost. I like it. This isn't a bad colorway at all though. I actually really like it. I'm not going to lie. I like that little neon green um, logo on the back with the, uh, what do you call that? The leaf. I forgot what you call it, but yeah. All right, so next up, we got our Turex AX4 Gore-Tex hiking shoes. These, I'm not really a fan of that. I don't like how blocky it looks. It's a little too blocky. I, I like some of their boot style, boot hiking style casual shoes, um, but this one, this colorway is a little weird to me. Uh, it does have the continental rubber, as you see, and I will say their continental rubber that they partner with it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It grips the road and concrete very well, or, or even just the trail. It grips the trail very well. For 130 the fact that it costs less than those other shoes that we just looked at, the NMDs, yeah, I'd probably, I mean, I'd say I'd rather buy these because it does have Gore-Tex on them. Uh, I don't know why he's wearing these type, why they had the model wearing these type of pants with this type of shoe. That's a little weird to me, but, you know. And really quick, just to show you all, they do have a couple other different type of clothing products, not even a couple. It's a lot. They dropped a lot this week and really last week um, on their website. As far as clothing, they got a lot of different designs. I kind of like this one right here. Um, that one's nice as well. It's just that simple t-shirt. That's all I really need. I'm not really a person big on logos. Honestly, if it was just an Adidas shirt that had Adidas right at the bottom, I probably would buy it. Um, I'm very minimal when it comes to branding. Um, sometimes, you know, like this is nice like this. I like the stripes. It goes well, but sometimes I just don't want my uh, clothing all popping and whatnot, you know, really quick though. Let's take a look at these ultra 4d forward. Uh, I do plan on getting one of these colorways. It's more than likely going to be the all black one. Cause I still have yet to have an all black pair of these. Um, I have the 44 twos. I never got the original 44s, but from what I've heard is that the 44 twos are better. And in my opinion, they're probably the best running shoe that I've ran with. These ones are a runner up. I hope they definitely get this in the future, but the price tag, uh, 220. I don't know about that. Like I said, it, I actually kind of like this color, but I don't think I could wear this color at all. And I'm not even going to try to wear this colorway. But like I said, somebody out there, skin cone, it, I, I could see somebody really liking the pair of these. I don't know if you've all seen these ones right here, the X City Reflect. I do plan on getting a pair of these. It is definitely up there in price, but I like to run. And honestly, this entire fit, like I will wear this entire fit. The shoes look fire. I don't even know where they found this shoe color because I have not seen this on the site yet. Uh, I definitely will look for it, but yo, it's really cool. I like how reflective it is. Check that out. That looks really cool at nighttime. I don't know. It gives off like biker vibes, but at the same time, like still fit. Like you could probably wear this in the gym or like play basketball in them. They look pretty cool to me. I don't know. I definitely like them. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Uh, medium on that thing, you know. This is a couple other clothing things that they're releasing. I like this green right here. That's nice. If hey, let's check out this NMD V3s, this kind of reminds me of the NMD underscore S1s. I know the names, I guess it stands for Nomad for NMD. If I'm correct, it stands for Nomad. This color is interesting. I don't know if I necessarily wear it. I like kind of what they did with the shoe. 170. I don't know though. You know, they, they look interesting. The back is kind of interesting. I just don't think I could wear that color though. Like I can get away with like an olive green, but this is more like a lighter tone green. Now these right here, the ultra boost 22s, I'm going to buy this shoe. I really, really like this. Like, I don't know why I like this color, but it is just appealing to me. 
I'm going to get this in a size 11 for sure. This thing looks so cool to me. Like, I just love the way they look. And yeah, I, I definitely plan on getting these. Like, I really like them. Let's go ahead and get into these Addy Kane slides. So, as you can already tell, they look very familiar to the Yeezy slides. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the black pair. Like I said, if you just look at it, we'll zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see and get an idea. They pretty much added a little hole right here and then put the Adidas logo on top and was like, boom, that's a Yeezy slide. But it doesn't have Yeezy on there and they're also $50. Obviously, from what I've seen is that they are pretty comfortable and they do run uh, very small. So I did buy these in an 11. I will have them probably next week or towards the end of this week. They should arrive at my house and I'll definitely try to do a full review and everything on them. This is about as close as I'm going to get to Yeezy slide because I'm not about to be paying no $200 for a slide. That's a piece of foam that costs five dollars to make like that. That doesn't make any sense. That that literally doesn't make any sense why you pay for that. If you look at the description, it says bio-based Eva midsole made with, with 17% plant-based content derived from sugarcane. So they actually have part of this shoe made with sugarcane, which is pretty wild. Just to show you all a couple other colors they come in is you got the olive here, then you have this bluish cloud white, this cloud white, cloud blue got a tan colorway here and then you also have this uh, infrared type of orange earth color as you see here. Now if you're a fan of the Oz Nova lineup like myself they did release these zebra looking shoes. At first I kind of liked them and then I was like there's like too much white on the midsole to where I even think it would definitely get dirty. Um, you know they look pretty cool I'm not gonna lie they look pretty cool. I think from far away, it's like, oh, those are kind of cool looking, but I feel like, like this is definitely going to get dirty. Like you can just tell that that is going to get dirty for sure. Um, but I do think they're a solid pair that I'd say you could wear maybe only on pavement, but even on pavement, it would probably get dirty. They released a couple other colors for this one, like a bluish white. Like I said, they really went crazy with the white colorway. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to talk about this new shoe called Averin. Uh, this one is really interesting. Uh, it's basically a running shoe, and it combines the Adidas Boost Foam. I can't remember if it's Addy Preem, but it says bounce on the side of it, as you see there while it's spinning around. Um, just to give you all a little bit of, this is like the original color that released out. Apparently this has been out for maybe like a couple weeks now, but they just I've just seen this on the Adidas website like this week. So it definitely seems like it's a new shoe that they're releasing. It has this mesh kind of liner on the upper. It's like this little plastic too. It doesn't look bad at all. I think this is going to be a great running shoe. I was debating on checking them out. They're 140. They're not too expensive. Um, they do seem like they are up there in price though because it is combining. In fact, we'll look at the description really quick. Let's see, it says for that sleek but chunky style and all day comfort, look no further. They feature energy returning boost midsole with a lightweight bounce cushioning for an optimized feel. Okay, so yeah, so it's basically the bounce with the boost foam. I think these are going to be really comfy. I'm not going to lie. I've seen so far pretty good reviews. As far as the fit, I think they fit normal. But like I said, I'd have to definitely check them out in person. Uh, I do plan on probably getting a pair. I'm just kind of debating which color because this color at first I was feeling it. It's like this violet color. It's just very different, but I don't know if I would probably buy this colorway. The more I think about it, I probably would get this one, which is this orange, uh, red orange with this nice black overlay. I really like the accents, especially the sole. It looks really cool. Um, I probably will either get this one the all black, as you see here, you can't really go wrong with black and it does look like that it reflects. So I honestly might go with the all black because I, you know, y'all know me. I really love an all black shoe. Um, this one right here, if you go to finish line website, they do have a couple other colors. This one is super, super bright, but I almost want to buy it just because of how bright it is. And the entire sole is basically black and orange, which is definitely going to help as far as dirt. Um, I'm kind of feeling this orange pair, but I don't want to do that one first. I may just go ahead and just slide or stick with the black pair. So I may go ahead and get the all black pair because you can't really go wrong with all black. And there is one other color as you see here. Um, they had a nice amount of colorways released for this lineup. 
This one is also nice as well. Um, that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, that one actually is kind of clean. The black and white is very clean. But yeah, I probably go with all black. So yeah. Uh, let me know what y'all thought of this video in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, I'd definitely love to do them. I know it's a little bit long, but like I said, just let me know. Remember to subscribe to the channel and enable push notifications so you can stay up to date as soon as I release a video. Until next time, you guys, peace out.